Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for December 21st to the 27th. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to look at some general messages for the week, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Uh, as well, you can like and subscribe, or if you could like and sub subscribe, <laughs> that would be greatly appreciated. Um, we are, like I said, we're going to look at some general messages. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign as well for some additional messages if this one doesn't resonate. So let's kind of see where we go here for Capricorn. We're going to pull some oracle messages, and then we're going to get into the tarot. So what do we have for Capricorn for the week? December, that's way too many. December 27th, or sorry, December 21st to the 27th jumping ahead here all right okay i'm gonna take that one first or that's the one i'm going to take so we have friendship fairies and humans alike need friends now is the time to seek out those who will support you and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams Okay, and then we have look in a book. Whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you seek, sorry, the words you find will bring the insight you seek. So, I feel like there's something you're trying to like process right now. You maybe need some support. Again, you might like learn it in a book. Like maybe there's something that you're reading right now. Um... And as well, like maybe you're reaching out to friends, family for some like advice. So let's see where else we go here. What else do we have for Capricorn here for the week? Capricorn. So we have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. bottom of the deck we have judgment I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges so this card has been coming out for so many people um not only in like this deck but also in the tarot um so again there's like something about everyone's path the path that everyone is kind of like taking in their own life um I feel like people are having a lot of courage to overcome a lot of different things or they're starting new things um, moving on from a lot of stuff as well, but also like having a lot of fear of moving on. So there's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of fear just in general in the world right now, but I think specifically with kind of more personal things, um, people are finding their courage. They are finding their courage to move on from things here. Right. Um, now in your situation, you may need some sort of like support group or network to kind of help you move past that as well as like I'm almost kind of getting like with this look in a book it's like a mindset thing like so um either listening to a podcast or reading a book that kind of it kind of like boosts your energy you know like you know when you listen to stuff you're like yeah I can do it kind of like that type of like almost like a motivation to just kind of keep your energy up so that um you have the courage to keep moving forward so you're not kind of in this like discouraged energy so we have the ace of wands the eight of cups and the king of swords what else do we have for capricorn the lovers three of wands five of cups What else do we have for Capricorn? Okay, so we have the Six of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Death card. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. I like that. Uh, the Two of Cups right behind that, and the Magician. Okay, so and the sun and judgment <laughs> what did i say this card keeps coming out so i feel like um there's definitely a, a connection here magician high priestess very spiritual 
and the two of cups like there's definitely a very spiritual um connection that you have with somebody here i feel like this connection makes you very happy with the sun um but again there's something about your path finding like strength as well to kind of move towards maybe what makes you happy maybe you have to move away from this person even though they make you very happy maybe there's something about this connection um there's something about you looking at your path and what makes you happy and it could be who makes you happy right as well so let's see what we've got so we've got the ace of wands the eight of cups and the king of swords so something new is coming in which is making you realize you need to walk away from something else um and it could be again this connection there could be somebody else coming in like this magician high priestess could be um somebody else but kind of what i'm getting is like you have a lot of love for this person but um there might be something that like makes you guys not be able to be together there's something with that or like i don't know the magician's kind of like a lone wolf you know um and there's always like this like it's like those people that you'll always have love for so you may be needing to walk away from this person um, or you're needing to walk away to, from something else in order to be with this person. So we'll kind of clarify. Then we have the Three of Wands, sorry, the Lovers, the Three of Wands, and the Five of Cups. There's something, again, like I feel like it's connection related that you're waiting for. You're waiting for um, this connection. I feel like you've been waiting so long that this like Five of Cups energy is like coming up. So it's like, again, it's like that discouraged type of energy that I'm picking up on. Um, it's like because you've had to wait for it for so long it's like oh my gosh is it ever gonna come like you know i haven't i haven't received it yet is it coming um so you could be waiting on a connection or you're looking for a connection could be waiting on a specific person as well and then we have six of wands or sorry six of swords four of wands the death um you're definitely moving towards a more stable place. Like, I feel like you're moving towards calmer waters here, more stable place. I feel like your life is kind of going through a bit of a transformation um, or your situation is going through a transformation, which is allowing you to move forward here. So again, we're going to clarify these and kind of see where we go. So I feel like whatever decision you make here with this like high priestess magician, uh, I feel like whatever decision you make with this person, it'll be the right one. Uh, clarify this Ace of Wands. I almost feel like, too, you're being very logical when you, with regards to this new opportunity. It's like you're leaving your emotions at the door. Clarify this Ace, uh, Ace of Wands, please. For Capricorn. Ace of Wands. So the star. So you're getting a wish. Wish fulfillment here. Three of Cups. Again, you could be socializing. Um, you could be a part of a new group or becoming part of a new group here. With the Three of Cups, you could be celebrating this new opportunity because it is a wish fulfillment. You could be very excited about it, is what I'm getting. Like excitement, passion. What is this Eight of Cups? So I want to know if you're, like, what you're walking away from. Eight of Cups. Clarify this Eight of Cups, please. Eight of Pentacles. And the Emperor. Yeah, I feel like it's a different person that you're walking away from something that you maybe put a lot of time and effort into or a relationship you have spent a long time in uh i feel like it wasn't working it's like it wasn't fulfilling you it's like you put in all this work and then you're just like it's still not what i wanted it to be but emperor here i feel is who you are walking away from so let's see who are you what is this lovers what is lovers here for capricorn ten of cups yeah, so you're definitely waiting for, like, your, like, counterpart, your soulmate. Um, you're wanting to start something new here.
clarify the three of wands. Three of wands for Capricorn here. You're wanting something that's going to make you like very happy. Okay, so three of wands, we have the five of pentacles, the king of cups, nine of cups, temperance. I feel like you're maybe not speaking to this person, like you're waiting for them to communicate. King of Cups, Nine of Cups, Temperance. I feel like there's something about like, I almost feel like you're this King of Cups, like you're ready to express how you feel and like your emotions and everything, but you feel kind of like left out by this person, like they're not coming towards you. Temperance, I feel like there's like, be patient, um, but you definitely feel like left out by this person. There could be some distance between the two of you as well, which maybe is that's why you're not talking. What is this Five of Cups? Clarify this Five of Cups, please, for Capricorn. The Fool and the Princess of Wands. Ten of Wands. I feel like you're like, um, you're sad about this situation because it hasn't like taken off like the, nothing new has started yet with this person and you're waiting for them but you feel kind of like you're getting maybe the cold shoulder and it's becoming very tiresome with the ten of wands here i feel like things might start to change though so let's see i want to clarify the death card clarify the death strength with the ace of pentacles so there's definitely something new that's going to be starting again like i feel like i feel like you've probably already left this like emperor fellow in the past i feel like this magician um energy is you know who this person is and i feel like you're waiting on them um i feel like there's something maybe some sort of transformation you need to go in go through I do feel like there's something new coming towards you here. Tell me more about the death. You're having to like find your inner strength and to go through some sort of change here. The emperor again. So maybe it's the strength to end that relationship fully. Clarify the Six of uh, Swords. I keep wanting to call the Six of Swords the Six of Wands, so I feel like you're moving towards success here. We have the Hermit and the Knight of Swords. I feel like you're very, um, very quickly but quietly moving forward. Um, I feel again. I feel like you're. Mm, there's two people in your energy one that you are needing to walk away from i feel like this other person might have come into your life while you were still dealing with this other person but things were kind of rocky with this emperor here and so you're still trying to i feel like you're trying to figure out i feel like you see this this magician as your like true soulmate like this is somebody where you're like wow i like i haven't ever had a connection with this person before or like this before with anybody so i feel like possibly now you're wanting to um change this situation and like having the strength to end this situation with this emperor person there's also like a very stubborn energy here as well i don't know if that's you or somebody else but i feel like you're very quickly but quietly with the hermit here hermit and the knight of swords it's like quick movement but quiet um you're kind of keeping things to yourself i feel like you're doing that but you're moving forward so you might not be telling this person why you're you're moving on Again, the Three of Cups, so it could be a little bit of like a third party in the sense that there's somebody else in your energy. What is this Four of Wands? Emperor, or sorry, could be the Empress. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands and the Six of Cups. I feel like you're really just like 
four of pentacles yeah there's something like stubborn here about this like energy and it might be that this other person doesn't want like this past person doesn't want to give up on this connection that you have but there's somebody else here for some of you maybe it's just the same person but you're walking away from something else you could be maybe walking away from a job but I feel like you're walking away from this emperor Yeah, there's some sort of like change that's coming in here. It's not really telling me though, like what exactly it is. So let's get some Oracle cards here. So we have your dreams need a practical plan. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Can we get one more card here for Capricorn? Step out of your comfort zone. Bottom of the deck, we have your commitment is being tested. So I feel like you're kind of reaching the end of a cycle with a person here. You might be leaving this this emperor, this five of five of pentacles energy could be you leaving them to start something else with somebody else. I feel like you're debating on leaving somebody here and to pursue a new relationship. Um, yeah, there's something ending for sure with this emperor here because it's came up twice with the eight of cups and the death card the emperor came up so i feel like maybe you need to like step out of your comfort zone here make some sort of change i feel like you're starting a new cycle with that step out of your comfort zone and the t end of a tough cycle approaches so it's like you're moving forward um and your dreams need a practical plan so maybe if you are somebody who is possibly just like in a um partnership like within oh i put this the wrong way if you're in a partnership for business, maybe you're moving from one partnership to another. Um, so maybe needing to put in some like practical steps or you really need to think about how you're gonna like move on from this person as well is kind of what I'm getting. So that is what I have for you, Capricorn. Hopefully that was helpful. It was a little bit vague, um, but I do feel like you're moving on from one person onto like a new connection of some sort. Um, and you're just trying to find your strength and your courage to do that. It's a little bit scary for you, I think. So. Um, let me know down in the comments if this resonated with you. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy these messages and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.